what's up guys we just got to uh well we're not even quite there yet but we're almost to the uh auction in kansas and we're still a half mile away i want to flip you around check this out i don't know how well you can see that in this because i don't know that it zooms but and i'm trying to drive the semi man i hope you can see that because that's that's impressive for being this far away. But anyway, I doubt you can see it. There, you can see a ton of vehicles right here. So, pretty impressive. I just want to share that real quick. Okay, button on the handle is not to work. Just to clarify, we didn't get permission to go in here, so we went in this game be bobbled in. So, a good place to park to me. even have a little bit of shade at some point. Yeah buddy, I think you need to stay in here for now. Stay near where it's cool and not dirty. What's up guys? Finally made it. We have made it to heaven. It sure feels that way. But very first truck we see is one that I am definitely interested in. It's like a homemade rollback bed of some sort. I'm not sure if it's just a tilt. I think it's just a tilt. They made it so long that when they tilt it, the back sits on the ground. But some of you know I've got a thing for this body style of Chevy and GMC. Still got a little bit of brow rod up there i think the dents are standard on these trucks every one of them's got that a little bit of rocker rust but cool truck we don't have a ton of um let me rephrase that we don't have enough cameras and storage to show every vehicle here so we're going to have to do hit and miss and i can't there's no way i can show you guys every vehicle but we're going to do our best i'm going to shoot some quality footage here with the gopro uh this is another truck that's high on our priority list factory four drive truck bed falling off of it because of the wood floor four speed Pretty good old truck. There's another one that's high on the priority list. It's 67. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of walking through right now. I think what I'm gonna do is show you guys some stuff and then I'm gonna wait till this evening when it cools off and gets below a million degrees and then we're gonna dig into these a little bit harder. And I don't know how much of that I'll how much of that I'll video because uh, I've got to put in the work to find out what is worth dragging home. And um, basically we have um, about 15 hours before auction time. So I got here a lot later than I wanted. I wanted to be here first thing in the morning. That obviously didn't happen. And you'll have that with uh, brain issues, you know, but that's just part of it. I bet you this is a Hemi car. It is not. Nope, still a cool car though. Nice derby car right there, Buick Electra. Oh, this Big fan Chrysler. What's up, buddy? The hood used to say something. Yep. All of, well, Alice? Whole row of 50s cars. Man, I can't even see it on this little screen. I'm not blind. It looks like right there, the whole row of 50s cars. Don't know how much I'll video that stuff. There's just it's too much to video. And I want to step over here over the hill. Check this out, guys. Look at that. I say, there, I say there's over 300 cars out here, and I believe it every bit. I haven't even seen half of them over this way, so a lot, a lot of cars. A lot of hold iron. Looks like it. If you guys seen our previous videos of the stuff we dug out of the woods, that's what the, uh, not, I don't know these cars that great, but that's the same basic body style as that convertible that we started pulling the trim out of. Somebody's done, peeled a lot of trim off this one, but. Yeah, it's kind of like when you open the oven and the heat hits you in the face. It's just like that. <laughs> okay. Willies with the smash top. Little Plymouth. Some cool cars, man. Just some. That's a shame because ninety percent of this stuff's probably gonna go to the shredder. Studebaker. We could not figure out what this one was in the brochure. That was built right there in Indiana. South Bend, Indiana, if I'm not mistaken. Big old ruts. Oh, Stephen found someone. Yeah. Somebody's uh, Chrysler 300 Derby car. Like it was doing too well. So we got the console in it. Somebody else's derby car. Someone's definitely running some derbies out here. Yeah, there's three now. Running one of these cars is interesting. Or would be interesting. You steal a lot of the derbies back in the day. I did that in decades though. Still running with a sheet metal bumper. Really makes you win makes you wonder when they ran this. You know, how long is this dude? been sitting what's its history they poorly attempted to weld the door shut no roll cage i don't even know what this is for sure what do we got uh that looks like it said ford not positive yep it's a ford that nice piece Little bit of everything. Well, a lot of 50 stuff in it now. 60 stuff. Plymouth Deluxe. Caprice. I'm gonna pause you guys for just a second to talk to this guy. Well, we just talked to one of the property owner's sons, if I understood him correctly. And uh, I hope what he's saying might happen doesn't happen because 
the cars that are uh, down here in this lower part, which is majority of what we're interested in, may not sell tomorrow. Um, man, I really hope that information's wrong. That's going to be upsetting. Like I said, that's that's most of the stuff that we mess with is that older stuff. Uh, I mean, this stuff is cool, but um, I usually don't do this newer stuff. It's not what I'm into. It's not what I like to mess with. So that's going to be upsetting. We'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, we're here. What are, we, what are you going to do? So but we're going to continue to walk around. Steven's interested in this Caprice or Impala for some reason. Last plated in 77. That car went on the road very long. I believe that's a... I believe that's a 72. If I, somebody correct me in the comments so I'm wrong. I think 72 had one piece tail lights and 73. There's three individual lenses right there. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. And I know 71 had the levers in the trunk. But man, I'm out of practice on them guys. Mighty Ford Pinto wagon, Buick. It's a Vega wagon. Is it a Vega? Vega, geez. Can't tell my brain's tired. Vega? I thought it was a Pinto. Like I said, not something I usually care about. Straight axle Dodge truck. What on Tarnation is this? Or in Tarnation? What the? Somebody's somebody's food buggy, it looks like. Frames cut off, got a roll cage. That A-pillar looks like 59-ish GM. That grill doesn't. Got a Buick nail head in it. Interesting. Somebody's race car, apparently. A little swift line Dodge, I think it. Pretty cool. That's the side of the door. Yeah, that's hot. International pickup. Hey, Dad. What, buddy? <laughs> yep. Gonna run and shine. Doors and doors and doors. The first guy we talked to here at the property says, man, who would be interested in that? And I'm like, I am. Not not uh not something we normally deal in but who doesn't want a big fin car got a friend he's after this car so normally i would be interested in that so that's that's newer than i normally mess with but them cars are gold and that thing looks solid of what i've seen of it so i'll let my friend go after that one Check out these old dermy cars. Oh, that, that is so hard to see. If you guys know what you're looking at. Goodness gracious. That's a pretty good chunk of money right there. That's insane. You see what this is? Yeah, but look at what kind of car it is, what year it is. Oh, I know. That's crazy. Just another junk car back in the day, though. This is... Oh, a 58 Chevy wagon. Back window trim. Kind of good. crazy. There's still some stainless on there that's good. Yeah. The... Right here. Oh, that... Look at the... That is awesome. What that one? <laughs> Looks like it's torch welded. There's another one. All their doors are. Oh, this, this one's a big Oldsmobile. Mm. All the good parts on it, yeah. As crazy as that sounds, but. Looks like it rolled up a lot better than that wagon was doing. Got the quarter panels cut clean off of it. It's an interesting concept. This has been the old escape right. patch, I guess. I don't know. But that's a there's a whole wagon there, buddy. Oh. That's the hubs. That's a hub for a wagon, or for the wheel, and then the other hub is back up in there. Wow. Yeah. There's another 
Put a 50 GM over there or 60 maybe. My leg hurts. I'm going to pause you guys for a minute and walk down there, I think. I think we're going to walk down there and check out what's going on. I'm not going to record that whole walk, so. Steven's learning why you don't touch an electric fence. I don't know if you can see him right there in the middle. I wish this thing would zoom. I'm sure it does. I just don't know how to do it. That's too good. <laughs> try this again just shot some video a second ago like i said i am not i'm not technology wise this stuff whoops me every time i try to use it i just uh did a little detour over there on a uh old oldsmobile derby car and uh, i don't think it recorded any of that so yeah let's try this again and see what happens made it to the lower lot I actually need the doghouse for one of these off an F1. This is like an F3 or something. Sadly, this is probably going to go the crusher. But, uh, yeah. It's pretty beat down. Pretty stripped down. But, start a glove box. See nothing comes out here. Uh, somebody's got the VIN though. A lot of people don't realize 48 to 52 forwards the VIN is screwed to the club box door. So usually that disappears pretty quickly. Let's go back to the front of the row. It intrigues me, you know, what was here? Is that the stuff that's over there that doesn't sell now? And that was one of the things I think just got caught out. Maybe it didn't. There's a whole row of 40s and 50s cars over there that were one of the main reasons we came. And they've been plucked out of the rows. You know, you see all these empty spots. Uh, and now they say that they don't sell. That's that's pretty upsetting when you drive 800 miles. And uh, stuff's been pulled from the cell. So that's... That's really upsetting. But I'm interested in this Pontiac for myself. Not that I'll ever do anything with it. And actually... No, I'm not. Because it's stripped down. If I... If I get one, I need something that's closer together. But I say that, but you know, it all depends on what stuff goes for me. Because if I build it, there would be a custom chop the top on it and such. But keep ending up on the back of the row. Forty, roughly forty-six for two-door sedan. Shoe box. Oh, that's a big spider. That's a very big spider. Watch out for that Late spider. Late 50s Yeah, that is killing grasshoppers, looks like. That's a Chrysler Cordoba. Yeah. Buick, it looks like. Is that a Hudson? Looks like it. Yeah, that'd be. Those make cool customs. You got a sights on you. <laughs> um. <laughs> Interesting uh, put them on there. I don't even know what that car is. Studebaker. Another Studebaker. This wagon's pretty cool. Plymouth wagon. Is it pretty complete? The windshield's destroyed, but. That gas tank is hot for the vintage goat cart builders. Oh yeah, it's full of vintage Briggs and Stratton engines. Nice little bonus there. It's so cool, it's ugly. Side Boy, you'd never find that stainless, would you? The driver's side window's broke. Well, if it's not a wagon, oh, wagon. <laughs> is my tired brain again. Uh, is it broke or is it just down? It's broke. What I was starting to say is if it's not wagon specific, I'd imagine the sedans have the same glass. Maybe they don't. No, it cooled down. But, it just came off the track and no. That stainless off the top of the quarters would be an absolute nightmare to find, I'm sure. More Studebakers. Kaiser. Ugliest, one of the ugliest I cars ever built. I think that stinks. That's missing a... Where is it in there? 
Let's get the trunk. Yeah, sucks that it's stripped down, but I'll be interested in that one for sure. But I just realized they are not selling this stuff because not a lick of it's got numbers on it. Dag on, do you guys realize that? None of this is numbered. None of this is numbered, so I bet they don't sell it. Yeah. Where? Hmm. Right? So, I wonder if these are in the keep row then. They're numbered. Where are they numbered at? Back window. Okay. Front window. Front window. Well, I turned around and I looked at these and none of these were numbered. Yeah, that one is. 146. Where? Where do you see On it? the door. One. Okay. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. President. Boy, he is ripping me. Videos never do justice to the god awful smells that you get into in Kansas or the heat. And Kansas has some of the most horrible manures known to man it's just as you go across the state you just change flavors of manure and i say flavors because you can taste it it's so bad there's a nice one with the visor I'll have to check that out in a minute ride it out forward i think that's a ford ford or lincoln maybe I'm sure you guys, uh, all kinds of people in the comments will be like, well, no, you don't know your cars. No, I don't know these cars. And uh, something else put in perspective, you know, I talk about my brain injury and stuff. Imagine taking all your car knowledge that you've acquired over the years and wipe about 90% of that out and start over, because that's what I did eight years ago. So... It, uh, then on top of that, and I'm not looking for sympathy, I'm just saying this is where I'm at. Uh, I definitely don't need anybody's sympathy. Um, my memory's about two weeks, so what you do learn if you don't stay on top of it, you know, like uh, this Ford or Lincoln or whatever it is, even though I knew what that car was at one time and I know I've owned one um, years ago. If you don't stay on top of that that memory and that knowledge and use it daily, it slowly fades away. So you just start over again every day or every couple of weeks. It's another. Honestly, I don't know what this is. This is a Ford. I seen that fin right there and thought thought GM. But that's a Ford. Not a bad looking Ford for a Ford. We got too many door handles, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Packard. These are like some of the ones that we just dug out of um, the woods at home in Dunkirk that when we pulled them out they fell in half. Check out that head emblem. I think it's cool. The grill's nice and straight. It's actually a straight car for being a Packard. Well I guess making it a Packard doesn't mean it less likely to be straight, but they're ugly cars. And uh, still with tail lights in it. Still really complete and um, clean. But man, it's ugly. Real ugly. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. This is more of our wheelhouse. All kinds of extra bumper guards in the trunk. Shoot, there's good money in the trunk. This one's 100% in our real house. It's a deluxe on top of it. Yeah. Yep. I see me bidding on this one. Go Plymouth. Another two-door Chevy. That was a little bit more complete than the last one. Trunk 
Check the door. Oh, she's so tight. Steering wheel's busted. I'm trying to see inside there, but it is hard to do, and I don't want to go wiping the dirt off every one of these cars or I'll be completely black. I've always liked this style of Chevy, and I want one, but I need one that's basically complete. And I just realized, I don't know if, I can, if you guys can see that, or where my finger's showing, but right there by that B-pillar, looks like somebody's wrapped a chain around that and pulled that car up on its side. That ruins it for me. If I get one of those, I need something that's not needing tons and tons of work like that one looks like it is. Yes, I know it's better than an Indiana car, but uh, I need something that's uh, ready to rock, you know. I don't need a builder. Nothing too spectacular here. Another Buick. Little Roadmaster. And a shoebox Ford. Oh, that's, that's an interesting custom edition. That's not the right girl for that bad boy. Another shoebox, smashed roof. Another shoebox. 52 or 3. Somewhere in there on those two. Fords. Not confident what this one is. Other than ugly. Savoy. Plymouth Savoy maybe? It that one's cool. But what it's got going on for it. Shoebox. Studebaker. Another Ford. Two-door sedan. 46-ish. I don't know these newer Fords. I say newish. Newer. Mid to late 40s Fords. Looks like more shoeboxes. Nothing real spectacular in my opinion. Studebaker truck. Buick. This stuff back here is just wedged. This Plymouth is intriguing because I do have a Plymouth. I have a 35 and a 36 Plymouth at the shop. This is a little bit later than that, I believe. So I know. I know there's people out there that just know these off the top of their head and top see it, let us know what they are. Maybe put a timestamp, you know, hey, at 15 minutes, this is this, whatever. Pretty cool piece, but man, that thing would be a pain to load. And something else that I've gotten wiser to over the years is trying to not buy crap without suspension. That just sucks to load in an, in an enclosed trailer. Not sure what that one is, some kind of Dodge. Awful elaborate fender up one. Plaza? I don't remember that one. Belvedere, maybe, is that what that says? Yeah, that's a cool Plymouth emblem. The hood would make a heck of an awning. Another one. Nothing, nothing for us. This one's not horrible. It says Pontiac. I don't know who did that, but you need strung up. I could cruise this car, but he said, I don't need to build something like this. Whew! I don't know what them weeds are, but lordy, I don't want to walk through that again. Yeah! Need smell vision on that one. I typically don't get allergies, but man, that makes me want to throw up. It's so bad. There, going. That's horrible. What in the world is that? Somebody educate me. Somebody from Kansas that gets that crap growing in their yard. What is that? It needs eradicated. Somebody's Ford War Chevy project. It's always intriguing to me. Well, some of the people out here will take on as a project because, you know, cars are abundant, in my opinion. I mean, look, we're at one place and there's 300 of them here. And people want to take on some of the weirdest stuff and try to fix it that's roached. I think this was a Chevy. Maybe it's not. 
that a Chevy? That doesn't look like a Chevy. Uh, no, the poncho. Oh, we're in the poncho section, okay. Cool ass car. Better bleep that out. Can't see that. Dodge. My Chevy. It's almost a dinkle, my brother in law's two door. Same patina and everything. Yeah, let's go over here and see what. Uh, I ain't walking through that weeds again. I'm doing that. Seriously, that stuff about made me throw up. Freaking grasshoppers galore. What on tarnation we got going on here? This stuff's always interesting to me. Man, that is dedication. That is the the get her down generation. Because people today be like, ah, oh, I can't do it, I got a truck. This dude's like, give me that torch. I got a truck. Wow. Buick. Man, there's just a lot, a lot of stuff up here. Sadly, 90% of this. Oh, what do we got here? What do we have here? Well, there's some good parts here, boys. And everybody's like, what? <laughs> Dang, it's somebody's race car, too. This is a cool piece. I need this. I need all the crap in the back of it. I don't know, there's some dashes and stuff. Man, that's a shame that it's cut up. But, uh, what is it? Somebody educate me. Is it 35 or 36? It had the buckets on the Fords. Just this little vent right here. Oop, I fell in her. Just this little piece right here. This is worth a decent little piece of money. Yeah, we'll bid on this one. Is that the hood for it? Sure is. Yeah, that's a good little piece right there. Oh, somebody cut the freaking. Oh, why did you do that? Ah. A lot of little pieces on here. This is one that would probably get uh, possibly dismantled. Boy, they, they were bound and determined to ruin everything on this car. Doors, though. This would be one that would get. Uh, well, they cut this side off too. They ruined that axle. That's unfortunate. If I get this bought, this is one that will cut out right here on the spot. But there's a lot of good, a lot of small parts there. It's another, uh, I thought it was a race car with that number on it, but maybe this is just somebody's yard buggy with the way that back end's cut off. Maybe it started out as a race car and then became a yard buggy. I don't know. But. It's a shame she's hacked out, because I'd have been all over it. Uh, let's go this way. I keep trying to walk through that weed. I think it's that stuff. Horrible. Horrible stuff. Yeah, I need to keep that in Kansas. Cool. Offer pieces. Buick Special, I believe. I think that's what that is. Oof. Oof. Oh. Dad, gone. Something biting me now, okay. I feel for this person. Dad, gone. I don't know if you're going to convince me that wasn't a fatality. Dad, gone. That A arm is pointing towards the back. Oof. Mmm. Bad day right there. Yep. There's a coupe. What's the coupe? I, I need a coupe. That's about perfect for what I need too. Daggone. What is that? Uh, the front end makes me think dot. What is that? Somebody educate me. I imagine by the time the video hits, I'll, I know, but somebody let me know, what in the world is this? This coupe is about perfect for what I need, too. What is it? Ah, 
Somebody drilled a hole in the only freaking identifier on Mark. Dodge. Dodge. Perfect. Yeah, we need that, boys. Yeah. Everybody's like, what the I did it again. I stepped in it. Ugh. Mm. Everybody's like, what do you need that dodge for? What would you want that power for? Well, can't tell you yet, but I need it. It's just shitty enough. What the world do you reckon I was running on the front of this dude? Oh, Ford there. Well, that grill seen better days. Chevy grill laying with the Ford. I wonder where the doors got to. Still a lot of good pieces there. I've lost my children. I don't know where they went. Well, let's take another walk on up to the top side. I see a couple of Willys trucks. I was big into Willys there for a while and kind of got out of them. I actually run one of the Willys trucks pages on Facebook. Actually, I kind of stepped down from it and let my buddy Jordan run it. Uh, yeah. But was real big into these for a while. And I, at one point in time, I'd been all googly over these. Not as much anymore. Flathead Ford. If you see the Flathead Ford. AKA a boat anchor. Because that thing's been sitting there for decades. With no, nothing covered on it. Yeah, this heat. The elevation. The hills. Has, uh conquered my fatness and has whooped me. I am. Hey, Dad, up there. I am. What? Up there. I'm well aware. Why don't you go look at it? Tell me what's up there. Nah. Report back. Chevy with a visor. Hmm. Oh. It's like drinking bath water. It's so hot. Ugh. Hmm. Oh boy. I'd be tempted to buy this just for that visor if it goes right. The grill's nice. There's a lot of stuff in here that's good for one or two parts, man. And that is it. And the rest is just toast. I mean, like, what are you, what are you gonna do with this? Yeah, there's a ton of stainless on it. Good visor, good grill. Not really a good bumper, but. I just, I won't do it to myself again when we're getting these stank weeds. Dash is complete at least. If this was a two door, I'd be on it. It's not though. And the Buick. Most of this stuff, like I said, is just going to go to scrap. And uh, I was just joking, you ain't got to go up there. They're heading up there. Be that young and full of energy. I don't know if you can see them, but they're heading up a hill. I, I don't, I'll unhook the trailer and drive up there in the semi before I do that. Buick. Getting the later Buicks here. Somebody got drove through literally. Good gracious. Back on. That was a hit right there, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep, I don't, I'm not a fan of touching fatality cars, and there's a couple of them out here, I'm sure. Now, the Packard, there's a coupe. Now, that's a little bit better than that Dodge. Nice Ford. Grill, grill in there, and the dash is stripped. Just the body too. Well, I cut it off with the firewall. I'd be okay for where I want. Yeah, we'll have to see what this one goes for. This stuff is this stuff. Yeah, this stuff's numbered. I really hope they get up here. If not, that's gonna be upsetting. Probably good. I think that's right. oh. Yeah, I want to see when you first start. 
here. That's recording. I know. I was listening to what he didn't talk and then he just stopped talking. I said what I was saying. You what think that's the same guy? Yeah. Why would he switch trucks? What is this? I've never heard of a jet. I don't know. Steven's talking about that car. Don't know what it is. And I don't know what this weed, I think it's, might be this one. I don't know. One of these weeds stinks so bad when you walk through it that it makes you want to throw it out. I think it's that thing. Yeah. I like this truck. Probably try to get this for parts. That's pretty, pretty dang solid. The hood's pretty valuable. Got a little rust right here. Yeah, that's not bad though. But nope, this, this, this one here, okay. This one here is pretty beat down. Not a lot left to it. I mean, there's some parts there, but it's not worth justifying. And uh, stumbled on a couple more derby cars. This one says Sharon on the door. That must have been his wife. I'm not even sure what this one is yet. Looks like a Dodge of some sort. Uh, Plymouth. It's kind of crazy. A friend was telling us about this 300 here that's been stripped to be derbied and then they never derbied it. I don't know that that's a... Uh, it's a two-door. Huh. It's kind of crazy what they was derbying, really. I mean, like I said before, you know, it's just, back then it was just a junk car. They didn't know what that stuff was going to be worth. Got a few more over here. A Rambler station wagon. See too many of those. What do we got here? Chrysler. Old wife Rambler. By today's standards, that's probably the best derby car I've seen out here so far. As far as potential but it's still a y-frame Chrysler judging by the cars other than the one over there he never did very good because they're not that smashed now, this is a pretty good derby car like I said it looks like it took one hit to the back and it's done but, uh, boy look at that gas tank set up Whew. think that fly in today's rules Got a shield right there. Man. Probably got a 352 or something in it. That uh, Parisian or whatever it is, or Bonneville's got a car rally on the back of it. Another uh, coupe body over here that would be suitable for what I need to do. That's the one I was talking about. Plymouth. Believe it or not, I've got some of those tail lights. I've got those tail lights too, NOS in the box. Yeah, that's it's a shame. This is like the third coupe I've seen out here that picked up with a chain. Here's that doghouse I was talking about, Stephen, but it's for an F3. You know, Westinghouse headlight in it. If it goes too cheap, we'll get it for that grill. The grill's nice. A couple old junk caddy derby cars about rusted away. Uh, go ahead, Steven. The Buick that's been T-boned, the front clip off of it would be worth bringing back. That Buick that's been T-boned, like the doors are inside it, I think a guy could still derby that. If you put a modern cage in that car, it locks. this car is still derbyable. I don't think that one is. This, this I'd run this one. Oh, what we're looking at here, guys, is... I don't care too much about the derby. Steven still likes to play in the derby world a little bit. But what we're thinking here is these have probably got 500s in them. Or, uh, oh, jeez. That's a big motor. Yeah. 
See if you can find the tag on there. These don't have light bulbs, buddy. What the heck? I'm guessing it's right in there. Oh, I just bunny rabbit. <laughs> 501 GM 472. 472. That's garbage. Um, 472 we don't want. Well, let me back that up. There's nothing wrong with them. Push back on it. Oh boy. That's the first time that thing's been open. Here, Austin, hold this, please. That's the first time that thing's been open in the long as you guys have been alive. Well, you was talking the nose off. That's good, though. What is this? It has a red, Good green, turn signal indicators in them. They'll, they'll have a little light in that flashes when you're sitting inside. And this one don't have it. The later ones had it in the back window, too, if I remember right. Why? It's where your indicator's at. Like when you turn on turn signal and you see it in your dash flashing. That's what that is. Oh. These filler panels, everybody's always looking for them. Uh-huh. Um, what I said about the 472, not a bad engine. There's, as far as I know, there's no aftermarket support for a 472 like there's a 500. They're just different enough that it's not what I'd want. Now, if you're building a low buck, hot rod, rat rod, whatever, perfect. Throw that boy in there and go because it's got stupid low end torque. They don't rev real high. I ain't getting near that weed. This stuff still makes me throat burn. But, uh, yeah, so I guess if those went dirt, dirt cheap, a feller may bid on those. I don't know. It's just hard to say. Is this... That's something you don't see often. Rear frame rails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that C-pillar is garbage. But the rest of that car doesn't look bad. I guess we'll take a walk back through with you guys. There might be a body down there that truck. There is. I see it now, hiding in the weeds. Dad. Good eyes, dude. What well, if it was up there, we could hear you. Well, probably. Yeah, the wind would carry, wind would carry me right up there, huh? I guess you took some pictures up there. I did. Oh, well, why aren't you sharing? Oh, I did. I took a, bitty, or a panorama of the whole place up here. That'd be perfect. Yeah, that's cool. I was wanting something like that, but I don't have that kind of energy to walk up there. Neither do I. We kept getting hit in the belly and Go face. that way. Don't go through that. Oh, man. Watch them holes. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> you just stepped over a chrome piece. Oh, that's not chrome. That's a piece of tile. That's... Oh. But me and Bob kept getting hit in the... The cricket was trying to kill us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check this out. I got to see what in Hillbilly Tarnation. That's a, that's a grapple bucket on the front of that dude. That's the back of it. Yeah. Well, it's the front of it, depending on which way you're facing, because that's well, where the seat, seat faces. Is facing that way. Like I said earlier, man, watch your cactus, bud. Yeah, the one you about fell on. <laughs> like I said, these dudes were the generation of get it done, not these Nancys you got today. If if they needed something done, they were going to make it happen. So does it and uh, this is a prime example. They made it freaking happen. Old Dodge. With a track, uh, John Deere. Breather on it. Got the steering box flipped around. These boys. Yeah. These boys got it did. The steering goes through the motor. No, that's the hydraulics. Well, it's got a it's got a Dodge front end on it. This dash is Ford. No. Don't know how hey. much that's been hacked on. I said something. So what's that? <laughs> Let's see here. So yeah, that's an early Ford cab. I, I thought the front of it was Ford. There's one of the, there's an early Ford cab up there, like 40, but it's smashed in half. Yeah, he said the ones up there were pretty free barred. So they built this it's out of what they had. Check this out. I wonder if that's been sitting there. <laughs> I hope you guys can see it. Yeah. I wonder if this used to be a part of a racetrack or something. That's the motor that's in it. It's a 318. Oh, D318? Yeah, Chrysler. I give him credit, man. Doesn't matter what it looks like when it gets it done. Think of how much labor that would have saved having that. I don't even know what they was 
I don't even know what they was doing with it, but hey, props maybe. to them. So I'm going to grapple for something. Maybe Impressive. Hey, hey. Round ball trailer, maybe. When you come on, that's that snake haven. Don't be jacking with that. I don't know. I need them for something. I need it in there. Good 50 Ford uh, F1-ish, F or F3, 48 to 52 frame right there, I think. I think. What'd you find? <laughs> My 12 inch tires. <laughs> well, I think that cab is, what is that cab? I want to say Chevy. Am I thinking right, guys? One of the doors is inside it. Where's the other door? Is the other door around here? I think this is Chevy. Maybe International. I don't know. Somebody educate me again. I just don't know. Passenger door's there. I got no driver's door. I'm really hoping that the driver's door has been laid around out here somewhere. Because then I'd be interested in my speed. I don't think we're going to get that lucky. Yep, probably going to pass on that one being incomplete. And I know some people will call me crazy, but I learned a long time ago you don't bring garbage home like this. Cool old sedan, but that is toast. Nobody wants to put in that work. I think that's a hundred model T frame line down in there. I think this is Chevy Buick. I don't know, but uh, nobody wants to put that together, including me. So unless you have uh, straight up intentions on hacking it to death. I mean, there's the cow section. Cow that makes me think Chevy. Somebody again will correct me if I'm wrong. Be cool if we could find that door laying over here. I believe that's off a of five window Chevy truck of that generation. So I lied, I guess there is a few smalls here. We better buy these hubcaps, we're running short. I say that jokingly because we have about 8,000 hubcaps at the shop and that's not an exaggeration when I say 8,000. Here's your first rat rod project, Steven. Huh? I said here's your first rat rod project, needs a little love. There is, <laughs> call me crazy, there is a couple in here that I need. These right here. That weird one. two of them there. I don't know what that is. Somebody educate us on that one too. Good lord. Rambler. I would assume that M is Nash. That's yeah. a pretty cool piece. But yeah, what I was saying, I need these two Chevys right here. I've got three of those at the shop to make a set. Hey, What's up, buddy? What's You're just trying to get bit by a snake. Get out of there. Ding ling. Dodge, buddy. What, what, buddy? Do what now? The A pillar, what you said, it was a certain year. Like this one. The A pillar that was a certain year. I forget what year you said. I don't know what you're talking about for sure, bud. The weird looking A pillar. Hang on, hang on, Steven. Yeah, this is a different, this is a Dodge or something. But yeah, I think what you're talking about is the 60 to 63 Chevy swoop back like that in a 64 is like this. You can't see it, but there's one up there on top of the hill, that orange one. And then uh, I think that orange truck over there is that same buy style of cab. Well, what was you asking, Stephen? 
the Nova stuff? 67, 60, 68, 67 to 69 Nova. I yeah, think. I'm not. Unless it's like three dollars, I don't. I'm not worried about it. That reverse chrome wheel is kind of cool. And then that's out of like a what was that 57, 50 to 59 Chevy truck, something like that. Dodge, yeah, I thought it was. What does the door say? H and M Oil Co. Yeah. That'd be cool if it was more prevalent we could see it better. Yeah. Haven't seen them trailers. That's cool. You got a little toolbox. A little mini, mini truck box. But there were some trailers that you were showing me. They're all the way up front. Oh, of course they are. The flies out here are absolutely horrible. I've only had a couple on me. Get away from the metal, buddy. Snakes get underneath there and lay in that because it heats them up and I like that heat. And I don't, I don't have the slightest clue how to treat a freaking rattlesnake bite. That's some cool trim pieces in that quarter. Check out that light. That is awesome. I will buy that car for that freaking light if they're both there. They're both there. Dag on it. What is this? Buick. Is it? I believe. Got Buick. What's this say? Road. Road Buick Roadmaster. Yes, that is a cool little emblem there. Full of parts, too. It's full of headlights and other parts. The axle is broke or something. Oh, that's the factory spot. It's at an angle. It's like Them headlight buckets are for that rotten body that was down there. Oh, there's all kinds of headlight buckets in there. Yeah, dag on it. <laughs> Buy this pile. Probably no suspension. Grills being cut off. Why would you cut the grill? Ah. Don't touch this, it's electric. Okay. I might buy this and just strip it and give it back to the scrappers. Mainly for the stuff out of it. Stuff out of it, that steering wheel as cool as could be. The dash is cool, but it's missing the glow box. Guys, it's probably the only car out here with a seat that's intact. I wonder what's in the ammo box. Fender skirts in here. What'd you call them? Fender skirts. Sound like you said window skirts. Did you see that uh, bumper guard right there in the middle? Yeah. That's cool. What is that? They hit something hard. Oh, did you see the green um, up there on the top? The green four-door? Yeah. Whew. You ain't gonna tell me that wasn't a fatality. That's what I said. I I see why these are front end cars, though. The frame rail's still straight. <laughs> I can tell them how to get off that on that one. It was a 59, I think. These will fit. Oh, I hate myself sometimes, but I just had a thought. These will fit in the trailer, okay? okay. So, and here's my thought. Crap like that fit right there. Cause I just said to myself, I ain't buying crap that doesn't roll and ain't got no suspension on it. But that could be, uh, that could be finagled up there on that bed with the skid loader. And that's the same as stacking, right? Cause then the next car that knows of it can go underneath the back of that. Thank you. That